Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to show you, um, this is one of the most common questions I get, is how to find the center of a large circular round. So I just kind of wanted to show you what I personally do. Um, it's really hard to explain people when they ask me on the internet because I really am just such a guesstimator. I, I just kind of eyeball things, but it works for me. So that's what I'm going to do today is just show you what works for me and hopefully it will help you out a bit. So what you'll need is, depending on the size of round that you're going to do, this one I'm showing you today is a 22 inch round. So if you're doing something larger, you will need an extra large compass as well as a ruler. I will leave a link in the description below for this specific compass that I found on Amazon. It's worked really well for me. It holds the pencil in tight. Um, I will say that the end that goes in the center is very, very sharp. So if you're working on a canvas, it definitely will poke through, but I've really only ever used it on wood and it's been just fine. Okay, so here we go. The first step is to grab the ruler. And since I know this board is 22 inches, I'm going to take the ruler and find the 11 inch mark, which will be halfway, and just make a dot with the chalk pencil. And that gives me a good place to start. Then I take the compass and put it in the center there. And then this is chalk pencil, so it comes off very easily, but I just kind of walk it all the way around and see if it's even and make some adjustments if it's not quite in the center and I just kind of move it around the edges and do my best to find the center. I know it is not perfect, but honestly, this is the easiest way that I've found so far and it's worked pretty well for me. You can even make a line all the way around the outside um, since the chalk pencil you can erase pretty easily so you can make a line and then just Make sure that it's even all the way around if not you can make some adjustments and try again, but It is really just guesswork estimating eyeballing If there's a better or easier way to do this that you found Please share in the comments below. I would love to hear what other people do Next, as a little bonus, I will show you how to measure out for a mirror. I will be using this 20 in, 22 inch board to make a mirror. So to find the center, um, I know that the mirror is 12 inches. So I get the compass and I measure out six because then that will make a 12 inch circle and then I'll know where I need to place the mirror. So then I measure it out this will be a 12 inch circle and you can check your work if you'd like by grabbing a ruler and you can kind of just measure around to make sure it's even but looks pretty good to me. Then since I don't really plan my patterns ahead of time I just make a bunch of circles around whether I use them or not doesn't really matter because if I don't they can always be erased if they're showing through but most of the time the lines get painted over. I do just go with the flow when it comes to patterns. I don't really plan them out ahead of time. So um, I do, if I like to do dots all the way around, I will use the circles to make a perfect circle. But other than that, it's just kind of freehand. And voila, we are finished. I do still need to erase the guide marks on there that you can still see showing through and pop on the mirror. I am super happy with how this one turned out. I hope you guys enjoy this. I will be doing another video showing this project from start to finish, so keep an eye out for that. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I will be doing weekly videos and if you have any questions or any video ideas for me, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks guys. See you next time.